Good morning. Uh, my name is Alan Herford, and I'm the chairman at the University of Loma Linda. Uh, I'd just like to say thank you for the, the kind invitation to be here. Uh, it's a real honor for me to be able to come and visit your prestigious university. Uh, there's been a long-standing um, commitment and relationship between Loma Linda University and uh, Milan University uh, School of Dentistry. This goes back many years with uh, Dr. Philip Boyne and also uh, Professor Carlo Mariano and their close collaboration and, and helping to advance the, the specialty of surgi surgical care for our patients. And I really am honored to be able to be here and, uh, and continue with that long-standing uh, tradition and relationship. About 40 years ago, uh, the late Dr. Philip Boyne uh, first described the technique of uh, using autogenous grafting for repairing uh, alveolar clefts. And this was really a, a landmark paper and a, a standard by which uh, many surgeons have, have throughout the world have and continue to treat uh, patients in, in order to restore uh, the bone and, and the teeth into the cleft region. Uh, this procedure has, has uh, again, been, been advanced and, and, and uh, different techniques to try to make it improve, but it's basically the same technique. One thing that uh, about five to eight years ago, uh, Dr. Boyne uh, was involved in the research with growth factors, uh, mainly bone morphogenic protein. And he was very excited, as am I, about the advances of growth factors to be able to even treat uh, some of these cleft patients to be able to grow new bone without having to harvest any type of bone graft. And so that was one of the advances that he was fortunately able to see before he passed. So this is some of the, the examples of uh, the research that we've been able to accomplish and progress to help with patient care. Uh, one of the areas that um, we've focused on, and, and we have many fellows uh, that have come and visited from your university uh, that uh, collaborate with us on research and which has resulted in uh, many publications, uh, one of the, uh, the primary or the, the interesting uh, topics that we've been looking at are the use of growth factors, uh, mainly bone morphogenic protein or BMP2, uh, and using that for reconstruction of different types of defects, either very small defects or large defects, including uh, you know, a large portion of, of a person's jaw. This could be a result from trauma or for a patient having some type of oral cancer or malignancy and needing to have a large grafting procedure done. Uh, with the, the use of tissue engineering and um, growth factors, we're able to start to be able to replace some of that tissue many times without even having to harvest grafts from our patients. And, and in the future, the, the, the techniques of, of taking bone from people's body to put in other part, portions of their body will become less and less when we have some of these other techniques that are, are available, such as growth factors. Uh, there is morbidity associated with harvesting grafts, and so ideally, uh, our goal is, is to be able to have uh, proteins where we can use that to help rebuild the bone without having to harvest any type of bone graft. So it's a very exciting uh, area which uh, we've had good collaboration and research published between our universities and we hope to continue that in the future. One of the studies that we've been working on in the last couple of years uh, with the fellows from uh, that have come to visit Loma Linda is the, the use of uh, BMP2 uh, with uh, and, and combining it with a, a, a condu conductive agent which is made of uh, a mixture of uh, TCP and HA which uh, tends to replicate the, the bone and the use of the uh, growth factor uh, has really helped uh, improve that formation of bone in these large defects and so it really is it's kind of an exciting time uh, for uh, surgical procedures for patients uh, and we can see in the future that there may even be uh, a time when you know we'll not even have to harvest grass from patients but we'll be able to use different types of growth factors to be able to uh, rebuild these missing parts for patients. Uh, this is part of the, uh, of the, the topics that we're going to be discussing uh, today and tomorrow. So I really look forward to, uh, to visiting with you. And again, uh, thank you for your kind invitation. It's a true honor to be here. Thank you.